Jennifer Gorenson and I am a master's student in the Zeller lab at San Diego State and in our lab we study a really interesting animal called ascidian. So ascidians are marine invertebrate animals and they are actually our closest living invertebrate relatives. The way that these animals live is they will adhere to marine substrates such as uh, rocks or buoys. We collect them here in San Diego in the marinas, so we'll find them near boats. And these animals as adults are sessile creatures, so they will filter feed food through their siphons. They'll go through their body, come out like this. And these animals have both sperm and eggs, however they don't uh, self-fertilize, so we need multiple of these animals in order to generate an embryo. In our lab, we're interested in studying embryonic development of these animals, specifically the fate of the ectoderm. So when these animals make their babies, they will go through the embryonic development process to form the three embryonic tissue layers. And those layers are the endoderm, the mesoderm, and the ectoderm. In our lab, we're most interested in studying what uh, cells the ectoderm becomes. So these cells can become either the skin or they can become part of the nervous system. We're interested in studying the peripheral nervous system, so the nervous system on the outside of these animals. And these ectoderm cells have two different fates in which they can become and this is regulated through a signaling pathway called NOTCH, and NOTCH will tell these cells what they're gonna become. So when we have NOTCH, when NOTCH is active, so it's a positive, we get the skin cells here. And this is gonna be around the whole animal, obviously. And when we don't have the activation of NOTCH, then we have epidermal sensory neurons, or ESNs. And these cells will form a pattern along the top and the bottom of these animals. The importance of studying the process by which the ectoderm becomes these two kinds of cells in development can give us insights into the way that we work. So humans in the inner ear have this exam, the same pathway to become the ear hair cells or the epidermal cells. And so understanding how this works can help humans be able to hear and maintain their balance better. Uh, so it's a very interesting and important organism for us to be studying.